Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to show you guys the giant Call of Duty Infinite Warfare poster that's in front of the E3 convention, if you guys haven't seen it already. Now, you're going to notice that there's no indication telling us this game is going to be set in the future, like there's no giant spaceship in the background like we saw from the old reveal image uh, last month around this time, actually. Uh, there's no electronic gadget, there's no um, jetpacks or anything like that that uh, tells us this game is going to be set in the future, so I think that's going to be the marketing plan for Activision and the game developers from uh, here on out until the release of the game. And the reason why I think that is because of all the recent hate the game's been getting, especially with all the dislikes the reveal got, so I'm thinking that's going to be the marketing team's plan, and I'm pretty sure the game developers know by now uh, that the community has a bad taste for futuristic Call of Duty games, but uh, from looking at the poster on the E3 convention building, like, uh, if I didn't see the reveal or know anything about the game at all, I think this game is going to be, like, set in the modern times, or maybe a couple years in the future, but not so much that it would completely, uh, like, change or alter the surroundings or the background of the game, so, uh, like I said, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, you're gonna know that I said this image looks a lot better than the old image, uh, but I don't know, I could definitely see this image becoming the new cover art for the game, but I want you guys to let me know down in the comments which image you think looks the best, but um, if you guys didn't know by now, Call of Duty won't be having their own live stream this year, instead they're gonna be squeezing in their time with the PlayStation live stream, so uh, that's why the time is gonna be a little late if you guys didn't know, it's gonna be at 6 o'clock uh, uh, p.m. Pacific time, I'll have a couple uh, links in the description for the live stream event and the time conversion chart down in the description as well, so uh, if you guys are interested in that, you can go check that out but um yeah you know i do believe from here on out the activision uh, marketing team and the uh, infinity war team is going to be very careful on how they promote the game so during e3 i believe the gameplay they're going to be focusing on will not show too much of the new advanced movement or anything like that actually the movement is going to be similar to black ops 3's but i, I don't think they're going to be focusing too heavily on that and anything futuristic like i really wouldn't be surprised at all if they split the times between call of duty 4 and the infinite warfare and maybe they could show a lot more call of duty 4 gameplay i actually wouldn't be surprised seeing that at all but for this event it's going to be very crucial for infinity war to sell the game because of all the recent haters and their distaste for the game so uh, i'm going to be honest i'm not really too hyped for the game now that may seem like a big shocker but I'm, I'm really not all that hyped for the game at all because i'm loving black ops 3 right now and i just want to keep on riding the black ops 3 train because I, I like i said i do enjoy the game a lot and there's so much new content that's going to be coming on the way like the new dlc we should be getting a couple months from now or a couple weeks from now actually um contracts are going to be coming soon so i'm really i'm really just enjoying my time on black ops 3 and uh you know i'm, I'm just trying to milk the time that i have with this game as much as, as much as i can now, i'm gonna be honest it might be my favorite call of duty ever created i know that may seem like a big um a big thing to say but i do enjoy this game a lot it might be up there with black ops 1 i don't know i haven't really decided on which call of duty game i like more black ops 1 or black ops 3 which are my two favorite call of duties currently but um depending on how the dlc goes and the support for black ops 3 goes uh i could definitely see Black Ops 3 becoming my new favorite Call of Duty, but don't forget to tell me your thoughts about the two Infinite Warfare posters down in the comments, and also tell me if you guys are hyped for the game or not, and also drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Thank you all for watching. I'm Avert. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later.